Hello and welcome to today's video. As you know, I'm wearing my favorite sweatshirt again. Warren, Massachusetts, it's where my story begins. So the topic of today's video is going to be about a incident that happened to me on Tuesday, July 16, 2019 at 5.45 p.m. in front of the Warren Post Office. So right here in my hand is actually a email that was sent to the Warren Board of Selectmen's office and carbon copy to acting police chief Gerald Millett. So today's video is two parts. It's about this date and it's about to prove that um, acting chief Jerry Millett um, is basically not a trustworthy person. Um, and there's a separate video about, um, or video before this one that shows that how he had lied in uh, police records. So this video is about more lies of acting police chief Jerry Millett. So I'll explain the situation and go over this. So this was a records request for the Warren Police Department surveillance video footage for Tuesday. July 16, 2019, 5.45 p.m. And it was actually about a verbal threat that was directed to me, Michael Burrell. So this email was sent Thursday, July 18, two days after the incident, 12.06 p.m. And I will read it. Uh, intro, introduction. Uh, Tuesday, 5.16, 5.45 p.m., I drove onto Milton O. Fountain Way, parked in front of Mason's Grill, got out of my car and was about a quarter of the way walking towards the Warren Post Office to grab my mail. I heard a screech of tires and then turned around to find a car that had made a U-turn from Main Street and it turned on to Milton O. Fountain Way. I turned back around heading towards the post office and the driver of that car, which is now right behind me at the left-hand turn, shouted, quote, Good luck in court, motherfucker. You're going to get 20 years in prison, end quote. This is what I recall hearing. Maybe there was a third sentence of something like, Leave the police alone, end quote. But then he started shouting out the passenger window and was driving away towards the stop sign. So at that point in time, the sound got more muffled of me understanding the third sentence. I'm going to leave out the description of the vehicle because it turns out after an investigation on my own, this individual who shouted the death threats or the threats at me is actually a friend of the Warren police officers, including Sean Morin and also uh, Jerry Mollette. So, and also Joe LaFlower. So I'm going to leave who the suspect is, as well as the description of the car out. So what I was requesting from the Board of Selectmen slash Police Department was actually the video footage from the Warren Police Department camera that monitors the police cruisers. So requesting... Town of Warren surveillance footage for the cameras facing outbounds from the police department. Milton L. Fountain Way views for Tuesday 7:16 from 5:30 p.m. to 6 p.m. You should see my red Ford Taurus driving in at about 5:45 p.m. After I parked, the only other car was this black one. As I return back to my car, mail in hand, I say at 5:47 p.m. Also, the gray undercover police cruiser pulls into Milton of Fountain Way and backs into the police parking space. And then sped off after Officer Sinney, doesn't surprise me, and I made unfortunate eye contact. So my red car, and then the black one, and then the police gray undercover should be on the video footage pulling into the police department parking space. Number two. Warren Rutland PD log entry. I called the Warren Police Department 436-9595 and reported the incident to dispatch, which I then received dispatcher Clark. Uh, 
this was after I drove out of Warren, fearing for my life again, calling dispatch. She agreed to data enter my verbal statement, but I refused to have an officer call me back, which the story changed after I identified myself to Rutland Regional Dispatch Center as Michael Burrell, which was a red flag on Warren's, Town of Warren's part. She then changed the story and then said she couldn't log the entry, but I needed to speak to an on-duty police officer. The on-duty officers were Officer Sinney, which I have a pending town complaint of selectman misconduct uh, with him towards me, is still a pending complaint. She then stated the next officer on was Officer Joey LaFlower. I was like, nope, that's not going to work either. She then suggested my third option is that I should contact Jerry Millette, the acting chief of police, and file my complaint with him. And also asked for the video footage from the police department cameras that would help Millette identify the suspect of that car. So please provide me the dispatcher log entry and any Millette police reports, anything relayed to him by the town of Rutland. Lastly, by that private citizen shouting that threat to me, proves to me that he, meaning the suspect, is related to a co-worker of one of the Warren police officers, who, who he, oh, and who is he to quote state that I am going to be getting 20 years in prison in advance prior to even going to court for the very first time. That also seems to suggest in this public record to the town of Warren and its police department that I am being set up in East Brookfield Court to be found guilty, which is highly illegal in a criminal act on behalf of those police officers. This further proves to me that the police department, including Sean Morin, uh, Officer Sinney, Joe LaFlower, and also the acting police chief Millette is clearly biased and this alleged criminal charge is then personal from Warren police officers to me. Respectfully submitted Michael Burrell. And that's the email that was sent to the Board of Selectmen's office including carbon copying Officer Millette. So on uh, Wednesday, July 24, I emailed back the Board of Selectmen's office checking in. On Monday, July 29, at 3.05 p.m., uh, I get an email back from the Selectmen's office with the response of the public request. I says, uh, on Monday, July 29, 3.53 p.m., I email back, thank you, now I just need the DVD of the actual footage and Millette to start working the case. Uh, Acting, Chief My, uh, Acting Chief Millette, to my understanding, has not furnished the proper police work from two to three months ago regarding his promise to check in to Jacob Pensinger, a friend of the Warren police officers. James Gagner's Facebook keeps mocking them that they won't get caught which Millette's co-workers are on the same Facebook page that I also complained about. So to be honest, I have no faith that anyone within the Warren Police Department, including Millette as the acting chief of police, will lift a finger to criminally prosecute any of their own police friends on the same Facebook page where they continue to harass other residents in Warren. And they also happen to be the actual suspects of the acts towards me. Second, Acting Chief Millette now has a second case of a verbal threat, which part uh, that shouted the threat um, that I should also stop harassing Warren police officers. So that proves that the suspect is also additionally a police friend. And that Acting Chief Millette um, is Acting Chief Millette going to charge both planning board members that just recently left and, resi and or resigned and my complaints on that one which are still pending in the police department has still not lifted a finger about those uh, from several months ago. Uh, as you can see I personally spoon fed these matters to Millette having no faith that any of the crooked warring cops can perform any unbiased investigation based upon the town's public records that have been received to date. 
Uh, okay, so then I'm going to skip the next paragraph because it goes into personal detail about some criminal stuff on Acting Chief Millette. The next thing is Monday, July 29, 3.56 p.m. Michael, I am sorry, but my understanding there is no video audio available. So at this point, I'm totally confused. And I just said, uh, another town employee uh, told me whose car that was. And it's another town employee unrelated to this one, so now I'm going to be filing another complaint. Uh, Thursday, August 1, 2019, 9.22 a.m. Uh, Selectman's office replied back, Michael, uh, there is no record responsive to the request regarding video audio. Uh, Wednesday, August 7, 2019, 11.45 p.m., I reply back to the Board of Selectmen's office. I got your email, but I'm confused why you keep stating there is no record, no video. You had already told me prior that my last email to you was for a brand new item for the correspondence for from Warren Police Department, including Acting Chief Jerry Millette, to you, the Board of Selectmen's office, confirming that there is no video footage. Unless it's not Millette, that means that you told me no video. I need looking for the correspondence of who told you there is no Warren police video footage. Uh, then I have an email from Select Minardi uh, that says, Please keep me advised as to the status of this issue. Uh, let's see. The next one is... Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So the next one is from the Board of Selectmen's office on August 8th to me. I understood your request. However, Chief Millette advised me that there is no, vib no video verbally to me in person. I have nothing in writing between Millette and the Selectmen's office, as it was only verbal only. So here is my opinion on this. So what I was asking was video footage of the police department cameras that are mounted outside the police department door that the police go out in, which is where one Melton or Fountain Way is. That video f records the police cruisers parking in and out of the police spaces that also sees cars coming into Melton or Fountain Way. So as you can see from the evidence I have, that, heaven forbid, if somebody were to egg a police cruiser, they would be right on top of their own video footage of, of, of who in what edge of the police car that's parked in their own uh, parking space. So in this case, they know that by looking at the footage that it implicates one of their friends, including also co-workers of Jerry Millett. So what do they do? They come back in town records and say, we, uh, Officer Millette said there is no video footage. So that proves two things. One, those cameras are not hooked to anything and they're just there for show, which is not a true statement because I have received video footage of those cameras before. So that means the second thing. That means that Officer Millette knows who, who, the, who the suspect is in this case of who verbally threatened me on a pending criminal case by Millette's own co-worker that he cannot give me that video footage because it implicates warring police officers, his co-workers, and also implicates uh, another town employee whose car that was. So basically this whole video is about that a threat happened to me, I respectfully followed the chains of command to the Warren Selectman's office to grab that video footage from Warren Police and Officer Millette basically um, shoved it up my ass saying we have no video footage so um, so this video is about Officer Millette proves that he will lie, cheat and steal to protect his co-workers so is he a uh, respectable police law enforcement figure? Absolutely not and I've already said that in previous videos and I will say it to the day every goddamn day that I go to court that I will say that Officer Millette lies, cheats, and steals for his own co-workers. That he is not a trustworthy acting chief of police and for
from my experience, from, from his own records in the town's computer system, I wouldn't trust him either. And the residents of Warren, as of this point in time, and from before, should have no faith in Jerry Mallette, Warren Police Officer Jerry Mallette, as the chief. You shouldn't even have any faith that he's even a police officer. And this video should serve that the public needs to come forward and ask for uh, Jerry Millett's resignation from the Board of Selectmen's office. And as you can see, Dario Nardi, who's now the chairman of Board of Selectmen, is a person that doesn't take shit from anybody. So my suggestion would be is to go to the Warren Board of Selectmen's meeting and you go up there and you see Dario Nardi and you ask that you want Officer Millett fired from the police department as a town employee and that he should not be chief of police because he doesn't deserve to even be an employee of the town of Warren. If he's going to lie about video footage that protects his own co-workers, he's definitely a piece of shit and he basically should not be the chief. Thank you.